<laughs> so White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders hasn't held an official press, press briefing since December 18th. President Trump told her, quote, not to bother with them anymore. And in her defense of the decision, she said this about your network yesterday. Look, we're in the business of getting information to the American people, not making stars out of people that want to become contributors on CNN. And uh, that's a lot of times what we see take place well, in the briefing room. We're more than happy to take questions, uh, but we think that there should be a certain level of decorum and a certain level of honesty and okay. responsibility that comes with with that. <laughs> I think she's um, I think she's throwing some shade at Jim Acosta if I had to read the tea leaves on that. How do you respond well, I mean, to that? In general, the administration's as subtle as a heart attack. And yeah. I'm sure yeah. that that clip left out the vigorous questioning by the people on the couch of her, which is an, for an obvious hypocrisy. Now, obviously, I'm being facetious. They didn't say anything. That's why she goes on Fox News, because she gets a pass. Right. The administration favors that place because it's the mothership. So that's a decision that they made. Um, but you just said you have Kellyanne and Giuliani on. I do, board. because I believe in open dialogue. If the president of the United States thinks that this person represents him, and this is his best that he has to offer the American people, Thanks, I want to expose that on my show. Whoever it is, I had Sarah Sanders on. I said to her, you're going to come on. Uh, we don't discuss yeah. questions. I said, but you know what my main interest is? You keep saying you can't answer questions about what you knew and when because counsel mm -hmm. won't let you. That counsel doesn't represent you. You can say whatever you want. Why don't you tell the American people, if you knew then what you know now... You would have given them a different answer. She came on and she parroted a dumb answer that she was given by other people in the administration. That's on her, not on me. Can That's I, not me attacking Sarah Sanders. It's exposing the truth. Just anyone at CNN, because this, this, the Trump administration's been good for a lot of personalities, too. Jim Acosta would be the first person I talked to, or I would represent in this. You don't think that there is, it's appropriate for anchors to opine and to know the difference between journalists and opinion makers. I'm a commentator. I'm not right. a journalist. All right, look, I think it's an important distinction, and I think it's one that's often blurred. Uh, I also think that you can't look at anything in the media as a monolith, even CNN. Uh, I'm proud of the place where I work, but you can't judge everybody at CNN the same way. You've got to pick people, see how they do yeah. their job, how she does her job, how he does their job. Fine, but here's the line. At the end of the day, no matter what business you're into, if you're in the business of communication with the American people, your currency is integrity and telling them the truth and owning it when you get it wrong, right? Pretty simple equation, hard to do for human beings. This administration lies more than anything I have ever yeah. seen in public. Yeah. Never seen, and I was raised in politics, you know, so I have a very low bar for being truthful because I've been raised around politicians. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to how it can be spun. I've never seen anything like this. Mm -hmm. Sarah Sanders has to own her own should, choices. Okay, Megan, should, let Abby, shouldn't the uh, reporters be able to call her out on the line? They should. I don't think they should want to be TV stars at the same time. Um, I think they're amazing journalists, by the way, at CNN. Jake Tapper, uh, Essie Cup, Van Jones, they're great people. Then there's people like Jim Acosta that make me want to change the channel. Jim Acosta, and look, he doesn't need me to defend him. He does well on his own. Uh, but him testing power, him demanding accountability from power is his job. Not a popular job. But right? I've, even, I've job even seen you. I even star. saw you correct Jim Acosta. It was over when they, when everyone gave their speeches what is on, this? on, hey, on the shutdown. Jim Acosta Day? No, my, 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 we my, should have Jim Acosta no, on the show. Yeah, he's, more than, him speak for he's more than welcome to come on the show. And I, I, I would love that. that. I would love that. Something I do too. like that you do. I would you say you're, that. you're called uh, Two Sides Cuomo. Only by Don Lemon. I get the same criticism here, but what you do do that I like is you do call out hypocrisy on both sides when it's merited. And I want to get your take on the breaking story Friday, because every day it's a new story, but it was the buzz feed piece, mm -hmm. right, where everyone, it, two unnamed sources with this piece, right. but it went wall to wall everywhere. Right. And I made the point that I, I think at times the media is so obsessed with getting the president out of the White House members, some people in the media, not everybody, that it actually helps the president's cause and it further motivates his base and could yes. potentially help him win in 2020. I, I wanted your take well, on that. I don't that. know about that. But the, I, I think that, look, the, I, I don't, I don't think the, pe I don't think, I think people deserve much more credit in this country than they get. The idea that America is a bunch of sheep. Uh, that they don't see it for what it is. At the end of the day, the reason people don't trust or respect the media or politicians is because they are smart, not because they're sheep. They're able to see through a cell job. They're able to see through agendas. You know, the American people are very smart. You should put trust in them for that. I do handle that every night. Though, the whole buzz Look, thing? Look, reporting is hard. Uh, the idea that anonymous sourcing is somehow weaker sourcing is BS, okay? You would not get people in power to tell you things if they thought they were going to be exposed. It is anathema to self-protection. Well, it so, broke the Watergate story. Well, look, it's broken a lot of records. I can't tell you how much reporting I've done where it was a basis of trust between me and somebody else that I would give them protection mm -hmm. uh, and they would give me the truth or what I can get as the closest obtainable version of the truth. BuzzFeed's article, they have to answer for their own reporting. They stand by it. Mm -hmm. 
the Mueller probe comes out and says so, some of it is not accurate. It was a very careful statement, right. Mueller. Rare. Exactly. Yes. I would hold judgment until you see the whole story. That's what I say, and I would hold judgment. Go to the bathroom if you need to, but come back because Chris is going to be here. <laughs> <laughs>